Hello everyone and this is Little Green Patch 98. I just wanted to show you what I've been up to for the past uh, one and a half, two days pretty much. Um, I got some really great deals on apples. They always had apples three pounds for a dollar forty nine a bag and then they had celery for 69 cents for uh, probably like a pound and a little bit in per package like the stalk or whatever the big bundle so I got two of those and I got two apples and two celeries I know I have celery in my garden but it really didn't come um, up like I wanted it to and I use celery a lot um, for different stuff so I picked up two of those as well so what you're seeing here this is just some leftover simple syrup from the apples and I usually like boil it down and make some pancake syrup with it. The last one I made when I made the the peach jelly I actually made with the simple syrup I had left over from the juices I made some sweet tea with it and it was really good so that's what I usually if I have any simple syrup left over that I've made too much of I um, just can it like I would the uh, apples and then I uh, throughout the year I, I get it and make syrup um, for the pancakes with it or whatever. These are some apples. I've got seven jars of apples. Here I got some really good um, deals on chicken breast. Now this one's a little bit shredded more than this one is as you can see because yeah um, I don't know what I was thinking. I dropped the whole chicken breast. I didn't cut it up to begin with in the jar and it was full and I couldn't fit another one in and I couldn't remember from the last time how I had did it and I was like is this how I did it and yeah once I um, canned it it was like half the size and I'm like okay that's not right so I went back and reviewed yeah newbie what can I say I went back and reviewed how I had done it before and yeah I had cut it up and then put it in and I looked at a couple of videos and maybe I should have done that before I started canning the chicken but Okay, so I actually cut, took it, it was eight uh, of these jars, and I actually took them out and condensed them down to four, and that's why these look really shredded, and I reprocessed them. Um, and these are the ones I just processed once. So these ones I'll use first, and whatever, chicken salad or whatever. And then these ones I'll use second. And this is the hamburger. I got a really good deal on hamburger this week. And... As you can see, I did it differently, and this, I actually looked it up before I did it. I looked at a couple of videos and stuff. I had done it before, and seriously, there was virtually no grease at the top, nothing. And this one, it's like, wow. Because I added water after I had cooked it, I added water up to the line in the jar, and, um... I don't really like the way it turned out. Look at this one. This one's like almost completely full. So these ones I will be using first because when I took them out of the canner, the water was a little greasy. So I know some of the the inside liquids of the can, the bottle, have leaked out. So that's going to compromise the seal on this. I mean they're all sealed as you can see they all sealed. You can lift them up. They're all sealed. The finger test, fingertip test as I call it. They're all sealed. They did fine but I know that it leaked a little bit of the juices out of the bottle so that could have compromised the seal even though it's holding right now. I don't want to have the problem later on. So these ones I will use first and then next time I do it I won't be adding the water like she did in her video. But so that this obviously this method did not work for me. I don't like the results. But the meat in there seems to be fine. And like I said, this is a lot of it looks like grease, but I had drained it before I put it in the bottle of the water that came off as I was cooking and I added boiling water from the kettle into here so this is more of the grease that was in the meat this is not grease that I added when I was browning it no so yeah I won't be doing this method again so this is the celery in half pint jars 
So out of those two bundles, I got two, four, six, eight, nine half pint jars. And they look so awesome. I'll put a, a picture at the end to show you what they look like before I process them and after. Before I process them, they're so green and vibrant and nice. I mean, they're still green and nice, but they're a little... I, I, they're okay. I mean, this is celery. And I guess the heat or whatever turned them a little darker than they were before. So I'll put a picture in to show you what they look like before. And now you can see what they look like after. So this is after. And these are just my rings that I washed up. I store mine with, actually this is a, what I take downstairs to the cold room in my basement and store them. I just pull the plastic over and um, so the top stay clean. And I just date them now. I don't have to put what they are because I can pretty much tell what they are. So these are these chicken and these have bones in them. This was bone chicken. This is uh, drumsticks. So that's what's in here. There's some drumsticks. And I just put the date I can. And as I said, I store mine with the rings very loosely so you can get that false seal or whatever if it, they come unsealed. They're very loose. As you can see, they're very, very loose, the rings are on here. Because when we go downstairs and grab a can, uh, a jar, and bring it up and don't use it all, and we store it in the fridge, seriously, my husband doesn't want to be looking around for a ring. So I just store it on here very loosely so they have access to it. Once they take out what they want, they put the top back on with the ring and put it in the fridge. I just, it just makes no sense to me to, because I have a whole pile of rings. What am I going to do with them? I might as well just throw them away. It seems like a waste. And then to go around looking for them when you want to store something in the fridge that you have left over, well, I, I store them together. So that's how I do my jars and my rings. I just store them right there together and then I cover them over. And put them in my cold room. So that is what I canned Sunday and Columbus Day. So, yeah. My apples, chicken, hamburger, celery, and more chicken. Alright, thank you very much for watching. And you have a great day.